Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom shield using Adobe Illustrator. So here we are already inside of Adobe Illustrator and to create your shield, the first thing you want to do is hit P for your pen tool and then we can go ahead and start drawing our shields. And the first thing we want to do when drawing our shields is you can start by drawing the whole shield by itself, like in its entirety. Or what I like to do is I like to draw half of a shape and then duplicating that half and then flipping it and then combining those two halves don't judge me right so let's go ahead and draw the first half of my first shield let's do a flat top shield first let's go ahead and just come like so get a straight line here and then come down while holding shift that will lock our coordinates and give us straight lines and then if i were to just move my pin tool over like so and wait for that pink line that pink line is my smart guide telling me that the point right here is aligned with the point up here right so if i were to go like this and use my smart guide and if i were to just click on hold and then hold shift and come with a curve right you can do that type of shield if you want you could have curved it this way as well if that's the look you're going for right but for the purposes of this tutorial today let's just go like so and curve the shield this way right so there's one half of the shield if you'd like let's click it let's go ahead and hit ctrl c command c if you're on mac then let's go ahead and hit ctrl shift and v to paste it in the exact same coordinates command shift v if you're on mac then let's go up top to object and then transform and then reflect and it will just ask us how we want to reflect it let's just use vertical click ok and you can see all i have to do now is just join these two like so again smart guys for the win those pink lines right there is just simply letting me know that my shape is aligned perfectly the edges are touching perfectly and all i have to do now is highlight both shapes right click on it and click join let's do it twice so that all the edges are joined and illustrator will let you know with this little dialog box if there are any more edges to join and there's no more for this shield so let's go ahead and click ok right and now we have one shield pretty basic if you ask me but here's a cool thing you can hit shift and c on your keyboard and you can manipulate this point here you can do it like a pointy top or you can curve it if you want right whatever floats your boat whatever you're liking for the purpose of your shield right if i were to just bring it back up like so and then if i were to say let's just click on this point right here and just curve it however we see fit i could also do that i can bring this down inside like so whatever kind of shield you want to make but let's just leave it let's just keep it as a flat top shield for now let's just hit that to change the color move it over let's create another shield here let's go ahead and create half of another one let's hit p for our pen tool let's just create a little curve right here let's just hit escape to clear that point let's just um align it once more right there and then we have a shield like so or let me do another one let me change the style of this one right let's come down straight and then let's align and go curved like so what do you guys think about that i don't know how i feel about that let's just drag this down what i did just now is i hit shift and c similarly to what i did over here on this shield to manipulate the top middle piece right here so and then i just like hold the point and held shift and i just dragged it down to my liking right and let's say i wanted to change it and get rid of this straight side right here all i have to do is come here hit this point hit delete and then let's come back here hit shift and c delete this point hit the pen tool to start working back from this point again and then let's just align it to the first point like so and then let's just make a curve right here let's not make this one as complicated so here's the first half of this shield we can hit shift and c we can adjust this point if we so desire let's just hit v4 or move tool let's click on this shield let's hit ctrl and c to copy 
just like we did earlier then Control shift and v to paste it in the exact same position then let's go to object transform and then reflect then let's reflect it vertically move it over by using our move tool while holding shift we got our smart guides as you just saw these pink lines right here is telling me that my shape is aligned perfectly it's intersecting perfectly all i have to do now is just select all of them right click click join and just do it as many times as you possibly can to ensure that it's locked up perfectly right now what i can do is you can add a little stroke here like so let's just increase this figure to like 20 and you see we have a, sh a stroke there a nice wide stroke let's change the color um and that's our second shield right let me just turn off the stroke by going back to zero and we have two shields so far and remember if your shield is symmetrically shaped or whatever you're creating in illustrator if it's symmetrically shaped and you can cut it down the middle in half or design one half of it first all you have to do is copy that half flip it and then join it right let's move on to our third shield get this one out of the way here move this one over as well let's create a third one here let's go p4 or pen tool let's start with a straight top right like so you know this shield i'm sure everybody knows this shield right and then so we have one two three four points then let's just create like a what do you call that a curve <laughs> i don't know just something unique right Boop. then we can just go ahead and create another point let's come about right before it gets centered let's just come like so uh let's go a little bit wider and then for the final point let's hit escape to clear that automatic curve that's not the vibe i'm going for then let's just hold shift before we let this go so what i did i just clicked here aligned it with the middle the top of the shield right but i held shift and that will allow me to click and while i'm holding shift it will just give me a like a clean curve like so right you can also curve this if you want by hitting shift and c or you can adjust the point so if you wanted to you can just like adjust the point up some more right you can adjust it to what you like what you see fit if you wanted to adjust your shape you can make it more curvy if that's what you want you can curve one side or both sides all you have to do is hit shift and c to manipulate any point on your shape and this is looking good so far let's keep it right there now we have half let's go ahead and repeat our formula so Control c Control shift v if you're on mac you know that's command then go to transform reflect and you know the drill let's just move it over boom smart guys are working maybe this one is a little bit too wide but you guys can adjust it if you want if you want to adjust that all you have to do is just like if you're lazy like me you can just like squish in one side right <laughs> and then you can just go ahead and join them to your liking like so select both of them click join and there you go you have three different oh that looks ugly oh my gosh that looks ugly i really don't like this third one here let me just put it off to the side and shrink it because i really don't want to see it let's just do a, like a basic shape for the third one because that no no that one is not working let me just curve this top piece here press escape this is an automatic curve that illustrator thinks i need but i don't need it i don't like it so what i'll do is hit escape right then i'll come back and create another point and create my own curve right and let's just like do let's just do this let's do that instead that's looking good there's another automatic curve i don't want that escape let me hit v for my move to a control c you know the drill object transform reflect click ok let's just join this boom smart guys are working join and join 
there we are. We have three nice shapes. This one is so bad, right? <laughs> and all I have to do now to save this as a PNG or to save it so I can use it in Photoshop or go further with it, all I have to do is go to file and then export and export for screens. And you can just go ahead and choose PNG. It's already in that format and just click export artboard and it will export everything that's on the artboard. If you wanted to export a single one of these, just move off the ones that you don't want, move the one on that you want, adjust it as you see fit. You can even change the curve of this as you all know, right? You guys knew that, right? You can just adjust the curve however you see fit. It's all up to you guys, right? If that's what you wanted, oops. Or if you wanted to keep it like that. And then to export this as a single shape, go to file, export, export for screens and you know the drill right and if you like this video and you want to see more adobe illustrator tutorials click on the screen to watch this video right now